I am in Hong Kong. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing a study abroad in Hong Kong, but I'm so short. Like, I can barely reach it. Also, the view from this room is actually pretty good. They're so adorable. This is really Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've last posted a video, which is very unlike me because I'm quite consistent with posting YouTube videos, but I haven't posted for the past two weeks now. If you cannot tell from the background, I am in Hong Kong. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing a study abroad in Hong Kong for my first semester of second year. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm here for four months and then I go back to the UK to finish off my second year and obviously finish off the rest of my degree. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I will say it is very chaotic and I feel very overwhelmed and there's so much happening all at once. But... I'm really enjoying my stay here so far. I also met some really nice people as well. Actually, we're supposed to have a lesson today. One thing about Hong Kong is typhoons can happen. There was a typhoon yesterday and it was like number eight, which is like the highest, I guess. Not the highest, but it was quite a serious typhoon. It carried on until like early mornings, late afternoon today. I had a marketing class and that got canceled because of the typhoon. I will insert a clip of what it looked like. When I filmed the video, it was like not that bad. It did progressively get worse later on in that night, but I was sleeping, so I didn't really, I didn't really pay attention to it. Currently, it is the seventh of September. It's a Saturday. I don't know what I'm doing up. It's actually half one in the morning, but I'm gonna quickly show you my like room and what it looks like. I'll probably go to sleep and then I'll see you in the. Morning. I'm gonna mostly film my side of the room because. I do have a roommate, it's literally two beds in one room and I feel like that's kind of rude and like invasion of privacy if I film her side and like her stuff so I'm gonna try my best to show you my part of the room this is what the door looks like so it's got six eggs here and then I'm assuming it's like three pegs each but I just have like my towel here, tote bags, jackets and like my other bags as well here. Over here is my wardrobe. There's also like covered space up here, but I'm so short. Like I can barely reach it. So there's nothing in there. This is what my wardrobe is looking like. Kind of messy, but then when isn't my life a little bit messy? You know, got my clothes there, like a random tote bag. And then there's some drawers here, which this one's like my underwear drawer. This one I think just has like pads in. And then there's like more um shelving space down there here is my bed i was laying on it that's why well, my bed's not done but basically i got everything from my uncle and auntie which i'm very grateful for because i've had to buy everything but i saw no point in me buying something when i'm only staying here for four months i'm grateful that my uncle and auntie lives here and i can borrow their stuff and i don't need to waste money on like sheets and bedding and like a pillow for example over here is my desk which is a little bit messy as well but then again like i said when isn't my life a little bit messy so i have like random things on here they don't provide a bin which i find crazy to me um so this is my little bin for now it's like a plastic bag full of like rubbish and then i also have like random stuff on here down here i have like shoes trainers bags laundry bag here there's more shelves but I already put stuff in this one. I just have like my toiletry bag, water bottle, anti-back wipes. It also comes with a nice good old screen spinny chair. Before this, they actually had like blue chairs, um, but they recently upgraded to a green spinny chair, which I do appreciate. Chest of drawers. Down here, I have my snacks, which consists of Cheetos, this chocolate cake and then some indomie ramen let me show you the view this is the view station here and this accommodation over here is part of the student accommodation this one over here is private so it's not student um but this one and this one is I'm quite high up nice scenic view um, of everything which i do like the only issue is the accommodation is very new. I think they just finished building it last year or like earlier this year. There's supposed to be a canteen and there's supposed to be a gym that has not been completed yet. I know some people who aren't very happy about it because we were kind of promised like a canteen and a gym, um, but we don't have that. I will say it is far away from everything. For me to get to uni, it's like 40 minutes on the MTR. Just getting anywhere takes a while. Like it pretty much takes an hour 
from this place on MTR. I go to like the main places in Hong Kong. That is literally a whistle stop tour of my room. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep because I need some sleep. Let's just see what we get up to tomorrow because I don't have anything really planned because it's a Saturday. I need to catch up on like some work already. See you guys in a bit. Good morning everybody. It is currently 10.50 and I was gonna go out. However, this is what the weather is looking like. So I think I might go out in a couple hours time. Oh my gosh getting bad okay i do not want to be out here right now i think i'm just gonna catch up on some lecture notes and maybe start my reading for next week's lectures i know what i'm gonna do exactly i'm just gonna have like a little wander around and see what there is i'm gonna have this chiffon cake as my breakfast when it dies down i will go out and get like proper breakfast breakfast slash lunch i've actually never tried this before i got it in a 7-eleven my favorite thing to do is go into 7-eleven or local k and buy like the pastries and like buns they have there because they're so good and they're so cheap only something you can't get in the uk it feels super duper soft mm. i'm very happy about this I've done quite a bit of work. I've still got loads I need to do, but I'm gonna give myself a break and probably go out and have a little walk around and maybe get some lunch. Just looked outside my window. There's like a bunch of people congregating outside like the entrance. I wanna know what these people are here for. I wanna low-key join, even though I don't know what this is, but there's so many people. Probably will leave at like maybe half 12, maybe quarter past 12 and just kind of see where I go. I've learned to like not drink the tap water here. I um, always drink like filtered water from like a water fountain or just get bottled water because normally in the UK I just drink from the tap and it's fine but I'm not going to do that here because you might get an upset stomach. This is like a little kitchen communal common room I guess. Um, there's not much to it I'm going to be honest. There's like a sink, a microwave, a water fountain. Um, a fridge, a communal bin, and the TV. But I will say the view from this room is actually pretty good and I'm going to show you. You can see like other buildings and then this is a swimming pool for the private residential area. You can see the beach which is over there, the main entrance bit which is down there. I really like the view from this common room, I feel like it's really pretty and you can see like a good view of Hong Kong even though it's just like buildings, but it's still a really nice view. Back from shopping, I went to Mount San in the end. Got a couple of things from a couple of stores, so I'm gonna give you a little haul. First things first, very boring, but I got some cotton buds just to like touch up. I bought two really cute Sanrio pouches. I've got no clue what I'm going to use these for, but I'm going to use it for something. This one's a really cute Hello Kitty one. Hello Kitty in the back and the license in. I just had to get it, so I got it. So I got this C3 one. This one's Cinema Roll wearing a Hello Kitty hat, which I think is so adorable. I have no clue what I'm going to use this for, but I will find a purpose. I got this really cute hair clip and just got like a teddy bear. And it's kind of like crocheted, but I thought it was really cute and it's handmade apparently. It would be look really cute in my hair, so I picked this up. I also picked up these strawberry hair ties, which are also handmade. But I thought they were really nice and they're like, again, super cute to put in my hair. I think because I spent over a certain amount, I got a free washi tape for the bear design which is so so cute and i went to another store mainly picked up some earrings they were having a deal it's like buy three get one free so obviously i did the deal these are the first pair they're just some blue flower earrings with a gold center but i thought they looked really nice as like a stud earring then i also got these silver butterfly ones which i think is also really adorable really dainty which i can just put in my seconds so i got those these really cute love heart ones and they say love at the top and then they've got heart cut out and there's like little gems in them but i think they look really nice as well i just love the design of these ones last pair i got which is my favorite are these ones i think they're so adorable and they just will make an outfit look 
10 times better. I'm gonna wear these a lot. Into Circle K to pick up some lunch. This drink, which is one of my favorite drinks, is basically soy milk, but it's so, so good. I picked up a pineapple bun. I think this was seven Hong Kong dollars, so it's like 70p, which is super cheap. I also picked up a sausage bun as well. I think this was 10 Hong Kong dollars, so one pound. Tried sausage buns in the past and I'm not a massive fan, but I saw this and it looked really good. So I was like, I'm gonna pick this up just to like try. But yeah, that is literally my haul. I have my Disney Plus loaded and I'm gonna try the sausage bun. So good. This is really good. I 100% would get it again. So this one's really like tasty. It's literally dark outside and it's only, what, quarter to seven? It's dark here a lot more quicker than the UK. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go out and find something to eat for dinner. But I'm gonna eat in the more kind of closest accommodation because I don't wanna be traveling too far. I'm literally sweating just from like walking to the mall and the walking on the way back because it's really humid outside. But I just picked up my dinner. This is chicken factory. I'm gonna do eating. I kinda do just wanna eat in my accommodation. So I'm gonna eat it in the common room because I don't wanna stink out me and my roommate's room. I feel that's kinda rude. This together, it was 50 Hong Kong dollars, which is roughly like five pounds basically for the meal and a drink. A good choice is a Coke. They only had Coke and Coke Zero, so normally just go for the Coke. This is what I went for. It's basically like a chicken katsu. It's really, really good. They also got me a spoon, which is really nice. 